All right, let's talk about dilutions. And to dilute something means that we're going to add water to the solution so that there's more solvent than there is solute. So let me show you what that means with a picture. All right, let's say we have a beaker here, and in that beaker we have 100 milliliters of water. And you have these solute particles. Let's make it just one, two, three, four, five. Let's do five grams of solute in 100 milliliters of water. If we decide that we are going to add more water to this system, Notice that we did not change the grams of solute. That stayed the same, but the grams of solute, solvent changed. Now there is a mathematical way to do this. And let's take a look at the formula that we're gonna to use to solve dilution problems. Okay, this formula that you see right here is located on the back of your reference table. It is the dilution formula. We call this the ma-va formula because it looks like ma and va here in, in the beginning of it. And what it is is the molarity of sample A and the volume of sample A multiplied by each other will actually give you the moles of sample A. And we're going to set that equal to, let's get a pen, equal to the moles of sample B times the volume of sample B. And so the moles of sample A is going to equal the moles of sample B. Now, you'll notice that the moles of A and the moles of B are the same, just like we had the grams of solute of A is equal to the grams of solute of B in the previous slide, where I showed you the two beakers. The only thing we're changing is the volume. So let's do a problem. Let's say we have a two molar solution of hydrochloric acid, and we have 30 liters of hydrochloric acid. And we're going to change that to 60 liters of hydrochloric acid. I want to know what the new molarity, the new concentration of that hydrochloric acid is going to be. Okay, so envision this. This is what we have. We have a beaker, and in that beaker is 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. That's right there. And we say that it is a two molar solution. Well, if I add more water to it, so now I have 60 milliliters of solution. So see how the volume increased. What is the new molarity? All we have to do is take two times 30. That's the molarity of my sample A times the volume of sample A, which is the 30 equals x times 60. And so we've got 60 equals 60x, 60 x equals 1 molar. So the concentration of this sample decreased and became a 1 molar solution. It was diluted, so its molarity decreased.